Hi. So, before I start this video today, I just need to say a couple of things. Today has been um, pretty stressful because of the current news in the world. Um, so, I don't normally talk about politics or anything like that on my channel, but I need to address this because it is important. If you didn't know, I am Ukrainian. I was born in Ukraine and I grew up in the US right now. <laughs> Um, Ukraine is being invaded by Russia for no apparent reason um, and you know I have friends and family there I used to go there in the summers when I was a child you know I have memories there um, it, it's where I was born <laughs> I just wanted to mention this um, both in case if you are watching and you didn't know that this is happening um now you know also because the us um and biden is beginning to offer help to ukraine so you are also involved if you live in america also so that you know the context of um what's happening and um you know things that i'm concerned about because it definitely will affect what and how i post um, so just keeping that in mind, um, I will try to make this video still as fun as possible and, you know, because it, it is supposed to be a fun thing and because it might offer some distraction to all of us, um, even for a little bit, although I think at this point it is important to know what's happening and it's not right to ignore it at this point. Um, it's, it's, it's too late for that. And um, yeah, we all need to be aware of, of what's happening. Yeah, you may have noticed that my lights are different. I have changed them to represent the Ukrainian flag. The Ukrainian flag, if you didn't know, I'll try to put it up a picture. It's really simple and it's really cute. It is half blue, half yellow. I honestly love the flag, it's beautiful, it's honestly the prettiest flag I've seen, but regardless of all that, yeah, I am. I changed my lights to kind of bring awareness, I guess, and um, to, I guess, offer support. I don't really know what I can do right now besides talk about it. Um, I have seen some posts about uh, some kind of donations but I know that some of them are also fake so if you are going to be looking into it and you want to donate you know to help um, the citizens in Ukraine and everything uh, j please just make sure that it's actually going to them and it's not just a scam that's trying to take your money um, so yeah I think that is all I will say about that um, right now yeah, so I wanted to make this video for a while and this is kind of going to be an ongoing project, but a few weeks ago I got a jean jacket. I've been kind of on the lookout for something like this for a while because I've had this idea floating around for a while, but I want to start a patch jacket. So I got this pretty big jean jacket. Um, it's pretty roomy for me when I wear it, but I honestly like it that way. I wanted it to be a little bit um, big. Also because it just gives me more space to put things and decorate it and everything um, on the jacket. Uh, and I just feel like uh, I want to be like cozy when I wear it, you know? So it is uh, a little bit big, but I like it that way. But yeah, I have a couple of patches right now that I actually got from my trip to MAGFest. Some of them I bought, it was like this cute little mushroom set, I just couldn't resist it and I knew I would be doing this project sometime soon so I had to get these cute mushroom patches. And the other one is like a little canvas print of the uh, monkey drawing that Jinx from Arcane slash League of Legends draws everywhere before um, she, you know, wrecks things. I love that, I love Arcane. I got it for free because I was dressed as Jinx and the seller really liked Jinx and all of that so she gave it to me for free so that was really nice. I am going to be arranging these patches on this jacket 
on the back here and trying to figure out how I want it to look. I definitely don't have enough patches right now to cover all of it, but I have enough to start. Like I said, this is going to be an ongoing project, so I'm going to be adding little different things to it um, as I go. But these are the first few steps, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to be sewing on these patches today and um, taking you along on the journey. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm going to show you real quick what the jacket looks like right now, and then I'm going to show you the patches, and then we'll go from there. <laughs>
I am done with the jacket for today. Definitely not done adding stuff to it. I still want to do a bunch to it. There's this cute little thing that I think I'm gonna sew on. This was me testing out like making um, or putting grommets on fabric. Um, but now I can like use it as like a little patch, I guess. So that's kind of cool. And I also added at the top this piece that I actually remembered that I had. Um, I've had it for years. It was uh, a self portrait that I embroidered like at the beginning of college, probably like freshman year. And I've just had like this random little piece of fabric with uh, my embroidered face on it for years that I've just been like hanging up as decoration and stuff. But yeah, I realized I could add it to this, so I did. And I put like a little piece of like quilt batting in it. Uh, so like some padding. I think I am gonna also iron over it because there's like creases on it. And I also pulled out some fabric markers that I remembered that I had. So I'm gonna probably add a little bit more detail to it maybe, like draw on it a little bit. Yeah, so I have like regular markers and like fine tip markers. And then I also pulled out some like jewelry type pieces or like chains and stuff. And I'm gonna probably hang that a couple different places. I think I have studs somewhere too, actually. I should add studs to it. Anyway, um, yeah, I still plan on doing a lot more with this, so there's definitely gonna be probably a part two and maybe part three to this. I'm done for today. Uh, so far, I really like it. I think it has character, like me. Oh, glasses, that's why it looks different. Oh, I was still wearing contacts back then. Um, for like day-to-day -day stuff yeah but yeah i have six patches on my new patch jacket and i'm really excited to get this started it looks really cute um i did the like contrast colored stitching on both of these and i really like how that came out too and um the mushroom patches i just used my sewing machine did like a zigzag stitch but it was kind of um difficult because it's really stiff and there's a lot of it it's like thick fabric so it was hard to like maneuver it around the machine but i got it it's fine it's all good yeah i love it so far i really do i'm excited for this i've never had a patch jacket before this is gonna be my first one so yeah i can see this uh being with me for a very long time honestly <laughs> But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching and leave me a like if you enjoyed it and um, comment what your favorite patches or um, multiple patches are. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, let me know if you have any other ideas for this jacket, anything you think would be cool for me to do. Um, yeah. And if this is your first time watching and you aren't subscribed, I do all kinds of craftsy, artsy stuff and fashion and cosplay and makeup. So if you like any of that, you should subscribe. But yeah, hope you have a good day or night and I will see you on the next one. Bye.